Hello, welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. My name is Shrodes. We are starting a new Hyperdrive bundle account. Uh, we are naming our character uh, Tycho, the uh, best unknown star pilot in the galaxy. Uh, Tycho is from the books uh, Rogue Squadron uh, from the X-Wing series. Uh, if you have not read those books, they are fantastic. I recommend you go read them. So we are about 40 hours into this account. Um, I actually started several last week to see where they would end up in Squad Arena. Um, I, I don't buy the Hyperdrive bundle as soon as I start the account. I wait to see where we wind up. All those were starting um, in 13,000 place or later. So I did not continue with those. Uh, finally started this one. Um, I think uh, when I opened Squad Arena, I was about 3,500. That was acceptable. That means I'm, you know, what, in the top 20% uh, top of people in the shard uh, in terms of uh, when I start, so that gives me a little bit of an advantage. Uh, when I opened Fleet Arena, uh, I think it was 120-ish, uh, so not bad there either. So uh, when I finally saw that, then we bought the Hyperdrive bundle. Um, I don't plan on spending a lot of money on this account. I did buy a couple other um, bundles. There was a new player bundle that was $5 that gave me lots of energy, a Cantina and regular, uh, so I bought that. I did buy the, uh, the Mando series bundle, the, it was eight bucks. Um, yeah. Five characters, 25 shards of, of five characters, that's a pretty good deal, plus some energy and some crystals. Uh, so that was too good to pass up, even though I don't, I haven't even activated any of those characters, which we'll get to in a minute. And lastly, I bought the Bosk and Houndstooth bundle, I think that was 20 bucks. Uh, Houndstooth is integral to our strategy here, uh, so getting a big jump on that uh, seems worth it. I think that's all I'm gonna purchase right now. If uh, if that changes, I'll let you know. Um, but we're gonna gonna try to go pretty pretty uh, light on the spending from now on. So um, I'm still working on the farming guide at this point. Hopefully, I'll I'll have that out here soon. Um, but we're gonna go for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren first. Um, so. I have developed some Jedi here because they're great for Galactic War, so that'll, that'll get us through Galactic War earlier. Early we cannot sim that until we uh, beat it 50 times, which is annoying. Um, so having a Basila Shan uh, lead doing Galactic War um, really helps out because she starts over with that extra protection uh, each time. So. Um, Yoda, of course, you have characters to get him to five stars as soon as you open the pack. So it was one of the, the first things I did. Uh, that was fantastic. Um, Mace, the only reason he's this, he's up up this high is because his gear requirements are basically non-existent. So it's very easy to get him to gear eleven. Uh, plus, we need a seven-star character to start participating in uh, in raids. Uh, plus, he is going to be um, our main uh, capital ship, so getting him to seven stars and higher gear so we can make his capital ship better is, is good. Boss will be one of the first characters we work on here. Uh, bounty hunters are going to be needed um, for the finalizer, which is required for the SLKR event. So, uh, Boss, Boba Fett, Cad Bane, and I think. Don't know if I I don't think IG eighty eight is required. I think it's just those three bounty hunter ships. But we'll uh, we'll work on IG eighty eight a little bit too. Haven't actually touched him yet. Um, but just to get the Falcon, since we're gonna have the other three that we'll be working on a little bit. Okay, so I really haven't done a whole lot with characters yet. Um, I don't. I think I might have put some ability tokens on Ezra, but that's I don't think I've put any gear on him. He's still gear 8, yeah. So they all come at gear 8. Uh, I did put a couple uh, tokens, uh, ability tokens into them. Um, 
Yeah, so Yoda got the gear loving, but again, his gear was very, very easy. So worth it. Um, and you see, I'm still working on mods. I don't even have mods on Yoda yet. Uh, mods will be one of the most important things. Ahsoka uh, did do some work on her because mainly because of ships. So my my initial focus isn't really even going to be characters. It's going to be ships. Uh, getting up high in in ships is, I think, the key. It's so much easier to get to the top five in the fleet arena than it is in squad arena. So um, ships, I really want to work on Ahsoka Tano's uh, starfighter. Uh, want to work on getting Anakin starfighter. Uh, of course, with the the Mace uh, Windu capital ship, and Tie Silencer, the Baron starfighter again, Galactic Republic. Um, the Slave One and the Xanadu Blood are going to be needed for uh, the finalizer, so we'll work on those. We'll work on the Clone Sergeant's ship just as reinforcement. I don't want to put too much into it because eh, it's not fantastic, but uh, we'll work on the Houndstooth. Um, I have put obviously some work into the Endurance. I did get all the capital ships up to four stars at least. And the uh, Mace Window ship is the only one I've, I've really put any resources into. Okay. Um, I do have some other ships I can activate. I haven't bothered doing that yet. Uh, we'll need the TIE Advanced as well for the finalizer. So, yeah, so there we are with ships. Uh, I'll show you where we are with characters. Um, you see, I, I did get all those Mando characters. Uh, we do want to start, of course, farming the uh, First Order TIE Pilot. Uh, uh, Palpatine was easy to unlock with uh, just what you got with the bundle. Um, so, yes, I I do want to get Geos unlocked and, and going pretty quick for uh, Grand Arena. So, Genie's and Brood Alpha was actually my first farm in the Cantina. And I was able to get 80 shards of him on the first day. Uh, with three refreshes, the the new player bundle, and then all the energy they they give you. So, but now I'm switching to uh, Kylo Ren unmasked, and that really I probably should have started with him. So it seems like Grand Arena actually just finished. So I have a few days, but whatever. Uh, we got him unlocked, so that's good. I gotta get the rest of the geos unlocked before Grand Arena starts. But it looks looks like we have some time before that happens. Uh, so yeah, working on Hux, Sith Trooper, uh, Jango Fett, because that's where you get a Hound's Tooth, uh, Sunfac, uh, so yeah, Poggle. Had some extra energy, so I've, I've kind of found a lot of random stuff yesterday. Okay, make sure you get into a good guild. Uh, we have a guild that we're going to join here soon, unfortunately, since... It automatically put us in that starter's guild as soon as we went to the hyperspace pack. I'm prevented from joining for uh, for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, the there's kind of our quick roster update for today. Uh, I did manage to get from 3,500 all the way up to five or I think it was 650 um, on one or two refreshes. Two refreshes. Yeah, two refreshes. I'll probably do another refresh today. Um, it, it shouldn't be that hard to get to the top 50. It's got a relic character already? Holy cow. Some people really spent a lot of money. Uh, so, okay, so there's a non hyperdrive bundle. There's a non hyperdrive bundle. Yeah, so. Doesn't even look like there's 50 hyperdrive bundles yet. Uh, so it should not be hard to get into the top 50, probably the top 20. Um, hopefully soon, that's the goal uh, for Fleet Arena. I was actually with uh, a couple of, just one, I think. Was it one or two? Two refreshes? Yeah, two refreshes. I was able to get up to number four. And then after the daily rollover, I went up to number one for the heck of it. Um, let see, working on fleets here really helps. Uh, so, yeah. So, hopefully we'll be able to stay number one uh, in Fleet Arena. And uh, that, that'll really help the crystal income so we can, can do other things without spending lots of money.
So that's the goal here. Um, and that's without the house tooth even being ready to go. Okay, so there's our update for today. We'll, uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe, give a thumbs up, bring you uh, at least weekly updates on this account. Uh, hopefully stream some uh, or at least record some Grand Arena, show you how that goes, and we'll keep you updated. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.